Well, another sign of the season, the Nutcracker is back on stage. Yes, it is. The iconic show performed by Festival Ballet is a Rhode Island tradition at this time of year. So we're going to say good morning to Ashley Erling. I'm not sure if she's going to be dancing this morning. She is live at the Vets for a preview before tonight's first performance. Good morning, Ashley. Good morning, Will. I assume that means you want me to dance, obviously. So I guess I'm going to have to get a couple of tips right now from Kathleen. I'm here with Kathleen, who's the director of Festival Ballet, and I'm so excited to be back here this morning. Good morning, Kathleen. Good morning, and thank you so much for being here on such a special day. Uh, it is such a pleasure. You and I have talked numerous times about how wonderful this show is. I was very lucky to get a little sneak peek last night at the dress rehearsal, and this show is stunning. This show is always stunning. I love the Nutcracker. I grew up on the Nutcracker. It holds a special place in my heart. But this production, I I'm going to call it magical. Is that? Do you feel like it's magical? Oh, absolutely. And you know, it was brand new last year, but this year is just as fresh. And still, the dancers are just really bringing it to life in such a special way. So it's really, it truly is. That's a great word, magical. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I f watching it, um, you know, people know the Nutcracker. They know the story of the Nutcracker. I think what you forget is that it can kind of take on different forms and different shapes depending on what you do with it. And you have done some really remarkable things with this show. You know that I was telling you before we went on, I was so impressed with the way that the cast is able to work with props and with the costumes because they're they're big, they're bulky, they're, um, they really bring it to life. It's like a Broadway production. It can't be easy to do that and to have the precision of ballet at the same time. Oh, absolutely. And it's a great way to say that because it really is such a production. And it's not just ballet. There's so much going on, horses and pandas and magic tricks. And the choreographer, Yuri Yanowski, took, you know, we did over probably 600 shows in our career as professional dancers of The Nutcracker. And he took his favorites of each of those productions and put them into one show here. So it really is special and just so many different aspects um, in the production itself. The sets are incredible. Um, as well I was very impressed with the way that things kind of moved and flowed and changed all within this very short span of time what does it take to really put a production like this together I mean we all see it and enjoy it but from your end I mean as we were saying last night I, I had the opportunity to see the dress rehearsal and the notes are I mean there it is very very precise the things that you are looking at beyond just the moves of the dancers who are fantastic Oh, absolutely. I mean, there's a team behind this backstage, you know, the production team, the costume team. Our students have been rehearsing since September every weekend to get that precision on stage. And really, I mean, they are part of a professional cast. So this experience, it isn't just, oh, we're going to do a performance. I mean, their dedication and the family's dedication and really the whole community of Festival Ballet Providence really just um, pulls together and to form this really beautiful performance. And so performances begin today. The first one kicking off with student shows right after we wrap up here today. And then there'll be numerous chances throughout the next week or so to also see it. Absolutely, yeah. We have 1,800 students on their way as we speak, so they're always so excited. And then we open this evening and we run through the 24th. So many opportunities to see it, and we are also going to give you a little sneak peek coming up, so stay tuned. Happening here, brought to you by Festival Ballet Providence, the Nutcracker, a classic Christmas tradition, is back on the local stage. Ashley Erling is live at the Vets in Providence, giving us a first-hand look at what we can expect at the show this year. Ashley, it looks like you got some dancers behind you. I do, and we are just practicing, and you guys are going to love this. And we'll get to that performance in just a moment, but I'm here with Nadia, who plays Clara, which is basically the main role if you're familiar with Nutcracker. Good morning. Good morning, Ashley. Thanks so much for being with us. Now, you are just 15 years old. This is kind of a huge role. How are you feeling? I'm feeling really great. I was really nervous when I first got the role, but... As we went on with rehearsals, I just got more and more excited, and I'm just like so happy to be where I am now, and I have Festival Ballet Providence to thank for that. 
and hundreds of people auditioned for this role and you came up from Connecticut and auditioned and got the part, which is incredible. What does it feel like? I'm sure you've worked so hard your whole dancing career to have a part like this and to be performing for a, you know, a wonderful company like Festival Ballet. Uh, it's like, it's just amazing, honestly, because it's one of those roles you always dream of and actually being able to have this opportunity to do it, it's like a dream come true, honestly. I bet it is, and today your first performance is actually for other students, many of whom might be around your own age, so how do you feel to be performing in front of some of your peers? It's actually a really nice feeling because my school's actually coming and it's nice to see that they do support dance and that they do support our careers and it's nice to see like everyone coming together to really support us in this journey. Oh, that is so exciting. Well, we want to see it for ourselves, so I'm going to move out of the way and go ahead and let these ladies take it away. Fantastic job. We have much more still ahead from Festival Ballet's The Nutcracker. Stick around. This morning in Family Time brought to you by Festival Ballet. It is time to gather up the little ones and make a trip over to the vets where The Nutcracker is going to be taking the stage tonight. Ashley's been there live in Providence all morning giving us a glimpse of what's to come this weekend and next. Good morning again, Ashley. Hey, good morning. That's right. Well, grab the little ones, grab the old ones, grab everyone. This is a show for all ages. And I'm here with another one of the main dancers in this beautiful production. Kirsten is the Sugar Plum Fairy. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. I know this is a very busy time for you. You'll have your first show this evening and you play the Sugar Plum Fairy. So I think many people are familiar with the story of the Nutcracker, but maybe if there are those out there who are thinking of coming to see it for the first time, Tell us more about the role. So the Sugar Plum Fairy kind of rules over the Kingdom of Sweets and she really just ushers Clara and the Nutcracker into her land and introduces them to all of the characters that you get to see dance in Act 2. So she's, she's sort of the queen of the Kingdom of Sweets, if you will. And it's a really kind of mystical and magical role. I was fortunate enough to see a sneak peek last night of the rehearsal, and it is just such a beautiful production. I feel like the Sugar Plum Fairy really is this ethereal kind of character that is it's just so stunning to see in person. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful role because it kind of has this combination of such royal like regality with the music and the pas de deux, and then you go over to the variation and it's very sprightly and you get that sort of fairy aspect. So it's nice to have a kind of contrast and get to do both things physically. 
So and this that. this role, as you were saying, it's so precise. There are the moves that you have are some of the most difficult, I think, in, in the whole show. You could tell me better <laughs> than I could tell you, certainly, but that's my perception of it. What is it like to be training for this, to be practicing for this? And, you know, you work with a partner for a lot of it as well, which I'm sure is difficult. Definitely, yes. Um, I think as dancers, we really enjoy that challenge of getting really deeply into your body and connecting in and every year kind of approaching the role with like a new sense of what can I improve upon? What can I do better this year? And it's really, really a training of just physically conditioning every single day with the same kind of steps and like practicing them over and over again, like how you would assume we're doing is exactly what we're doing and really Getting, building that trusting relationship with your partner is super important because sometimes you just have to go for things and like hope for the best and um, hopefully it works out. It seems like it's working out so far and you have been with Festival Ballet for 12 years, which is incredible. I don't know what the span of a dancer life typically is, but I love that you've been with this company for so long. What does it mean to you to be part of a company? It must feel kind of like a family. Oh, definitely, yes. This is absolutely my home. Um, I've been with the company for 12 years. This this is actually my, I think, 22nd Nutcracker here, if I'm doing the math right. I started out as a little angel when I was eight. Um, it's the first ballet performance I ever even saw as a child. I came to see Festival Ballet as the Nutcracker, and I was like, that's what I want to do one day. So it feels very, very special to me. This show feels very near and dear to my heart, and it's always fun getting to dance for children's audiences, too, because you always know it's going to be someone's first time in the Nutcracker or seeing a ballet, um, and so that's really special. That is really special. It's a special show. It's kicking off in moments. It's starting at 10 a.m. Today is the first performance with the children, as we just said, and then there will be many performances throughout the next week. Please don't miss your chance to see it. You won't regret it, and it's definitely the perfect first ballet for anyone who hasn't seen one before. For now, we'll send things back to you in studio.